Well, the statistics in the United States are the same as the statistics in Spain and around the whole world, that it's one in three women are the victims of some kind of intimate partner violence. And just think about that. Think of three women in your life and to know that one of them was abused or has been abused or will be abused. And you can see that this is an enormous problem. And it costs every society so much in terms of lost potential of women and girls. Also, very physical things such as health care costs, missed days at work. We all in our societies are paying an enormous price by closing our eyes to violence against women and girls and violence in relationships. What happened in my case, which is very typical, is that I didn't realize that I was a victim of domestic violence. I really did not know. You know, he was hitting me and holding guns to my head, and I didn't know that I was a victim of domestic violence. I just thought that I was a strong, smart, independent woman who was in love with a very troubled man who I wanted to help. It's hard to believe this, but I know that it's true. Emotional abuse is just as destructive as having a gun held to your head because it destroys you on the inside and it makes it impossible for you to be a strong and happy man or woman. It's impossible for you to have your full potential as an employee, as a worker, as a parent. And it, it also, it, the, the, the real tragedy, there are so many tragedies of abuse, but one of the biggest tragedies is that when children see it, it becomes part of their life. And so in order to break the intergenerational aspect of both physical and emotional violence and abuse, we need to talk about it and become more aware of it and become aware of the very big difference between healthy love, which feels good and makes you feel good about yourself, and unhealthy love, which makes you feel small and ashamed and worried. The other thing I would say to anyone and this is the hardest thing to realize, is that I know it feels like you still love him and you want to help him. But I promise you, you are the last person on earth who can help him. The most important message that you can send is that you do not deserve to be abused. And you send that message to everybody, to him, to your children, to yourself. You send that message by leaving, by taking care of yourself, and putting yourself first. And abuse always gets worse over time. So the best time to leave is today. And please believe me and trust that you will be okay because I am okay. 